way no one else can understand me When everything I, I do is wrong You give me hope and consolation You give me strength to carry on I guess I'll never know the reason why you love me as you do That's the wonder The wonder of you And when you smile the world is brighter You touch my hand and I'm a king Your kiss to me is worth a fortune Your love for me is everything I guess I'll never know the reason why you love me and you do That's the wonder The wonder of you I guess I'll never know Brian Miller at Act 2 on our program today and The Wonder of You, Bernard. Dedicated to you, obviously, Ernie. Thank you, Bernard. Uh, Brian, I don't believe you spent a moment investigating the quality of the lyric of this extraordinary piece of magnificent English. You phrased it so badly all the way through and if we had a Richter scale, you wouldn't even hit the first registration of a tremor. <coughs> You began each bar with some indication of sound, but immediately trailed away. Furthermore, I don't think you used lungs, but you did grip the microphone with all the tension you could express, and you tangled the umbilical cord to life so that nothing would drag it away from you. And we had some confusion about the song itself at the end. I think practically every Australian knows this song as an anthem. Did you rewrite the lyric? It nearly worked, by the way. If you'd attacked the failure with confidence, it would have succeeded. Did you expect a reprise chorus or something? Not at all. The no. audience didn't demand it, so it can't have been too thrilling for them either. 20, sir. 20. For uh, Brian Millard. For uh, Plum Bernard. Could you translate all that for me afterwards? Uh, <laughs> Patsy, what did you think of the well, wonder of you? The, f <laughs> the first thing I wrote down was that it was an unusual voice. Then I realised it was actually what... Um, Brian was doing with it that was unusual because there were very short, sharp phrases and I was expecting some big singing because you've got a lovely deep voice, bass voice, great. And I think if you just really sang parts of it, you can do that quick phrasing, which is very effective, but not for the whole thing. Right. I think if you really fat, sat down and, and thought about your technique, I think it really could be most effective because it's your own fairly unique sound and that's not such a bad thing. 35. 35 from Patchy Bisco for Brian Millard, Act 2.